Alright my fellow modellers, how are you all keeping? This is Mike again from Mike's Model Zone and today I'm going to be showing you review part 2 and this is of another model that my mum got me and this is the awesome Fairy Swordfish Mark 1-3 um, I have had this kit before well, I have got it anyway, it's over there and it's the same style as this one, with the bomb under it and everything. But, I wanted another one because I'm going to do it a different style from the other one. So, <laughs> I, I wanted two of them anyway, because I, I love this uh, the swordfish. It's an excellent clean. And this is a great kit as well, so I love you man for this one. Um, the size dimensions, however, are... 15.2 centimeters that's the width of it and it's 19.19 centimeters let's just say on the wingspan and this was involved in the bismarck bombing runs and um, there were planes that actually jammed the rudder and finally sunk the bismarck and it is a 170 second scale as well so let's have a look what the relative put to offer on this one then Put all that out of the way. So I put everything in one bag. So that's how it's how it goes on these uh, kits. Right. right. Get a lot of plastic. Well, quite a bit. You don't get tons of it, but you get quite a bit. As you know, with Revel, they always give you the standard booklet. This time it opens up a different way. Always opens different ways on most of them. Um, gives you more of a rundown. Gives you all the, the first parts of it, what you need to use. And it gives you all the rundowns of everything. See what stage this goes up to. Give you all a, a bit of an idea on how the kits are. It's it's actually a very good kit. I would advise you to go out and buy one of these kits because you won't regret it. You can do all sorts with it. Um, Fifteen steps, I think it goes up to, or sixteen. I'm not quite sure. Um, there's the one that I did first time I bought it. But I might do this one this time. This bottom one. So I might make it white and camoed at the top. I'm not sure yet, but you'll all get an idea eventually on how I'm going to be doing this. Uh, we'll get to the decals. So I'm going to show you the, the decals are not bad for it. They're actually quite nice. Um, those are the decals. So we get quite a little uh, Quite a good part of it there. I like these ones and I like them ones, but we'll see which ones I end up putting on. As I was saying before, they're not that bad. You know, quite decent. Um, obviously, you get the cockpit glass. Um, it goes on the bottom. The tiny, yes, I know. And then we get the kit itself, so we've got the fuselage. Um feels actually alright, it's um quite hard plastic so it's not it doesn't feel all flimsy and weird. Um it's got some nice cowling work on it. Nice repeller job. Um this one's gonna have rockets on this one, so I'm gonna put the rockets on. Um, so it's going to be awesome this one, I'm going to get this one done. Uh, we've got the wings which feel awesome on it as well. It kind of reminds me a bit like the uh, strand rear that I got. Um, sort of like a, match a matchbox feel to it. Um, I don't know whether it is a matchbox reissue. But I know that match... Um, Revel bought matchbox mold, so I'm not quite sure. Um, the engine, however, is not bad. It's got some nice detailing on it. Um, the 
got all the uh, the wing mounts and everything to keep the wings all in safe. Got the two little uh, docile pilots, which I probably won't even put in there. I'm not sure. Um, and then we've got the other wings that go on it as well. Another part of the engine there. The back wings. It's got the exhaust there, which is all right. So basically, you get a rundown of the uh, swordfish, and you've got all individual pads. So you get all that in one small box, and I just think that's brilliant. They've well packed it up, so it's not, you know, it's not bad. It's not going to cause you disappointment. There's no signs of flash on this, which is brilliant and all. So you don't. It might require some sanding, but not too much. Um. Doesn't look like I'm gonna to have to anyway because it looks all fine to me. So that's what you get with the uh, fairy swordfish guys. Um, so I would advise you to go out and buy one because you won't regret it. And for the price, this was only six pound fifty, so you won't fall off for the price of it. Um, so anyway, thank you for watching this awesome review. And as always, man, thanks for getting me the gift. Um, and I will do it up soon. <laughs> and uh, no, you're not having it. Because <laughs> she's always after my kits. Even when I build them, she says, Ah, oh, oh, that's my kit, that's my kit. But <laughs> nah, it's me that keeps them really. So, anyway, thank you for watching this uh, awesome review. And as always, guys, keep modelling, stay safe, and have a good day. Bye now.